Okay. Here we go. Ilaila ho i huli ia i kamana o lai Ia hui manu i ke alo o palike alai Pulupe i ta ua po a i hale lai Kapu kapu no i ke kino hi ho i li na e Ilaila ho i huli ia i kamana o lai I kama ke la koko ke i ke kahava i lai O pulu i ta ua ku kala hale lai Pula mano i ta malu o mali a hae I lai la ho i huli i a i kamana o lai I kalai po haku hale no ho pa a i a lai Noe noe i ta ua noe o va a hi la lai E o la mau loha e na ki o ni mana e He aloha e, he aloha noe ai Ano ai me ke aloha ia kako pakahi a pau And welcome to our episode of Ho'i ka piko This is our second episode And this episode is entitled Ki o ni mana and kule ana and we are so very happy to have all of you guys here with us uh, enjoying this web series entitled Ho'i Kapiko. Now, this web series is a web series that is sponsored by uh, St. Louis School in partnership with Kanayo Kana. And in this web series, we're exploring a foundation to return to amid these ever-changing times. So last week, if you caught us, uh, we were able to speak with uh, Sissi Lake, as well as her brother, Kekoa, and a couple teachers, and we discussed uh, Kumu Lake's legacy. And so today, we have some more uh, Kioni Mana, part of our legacy, and they're going to be sharing with you their kuleana and some of the things that they've been doing. And so today, we have Pomae Kaikana Iapuni Crozier, we have Kumu Keala, as well as Kapaihi. And so let's just start off with um, some ho some ho alauna. Uh, let's start off with Kumu Keala. E aloha e Kumu Keala pe hea oi. Aloha mai kaho, mai ka i kala mai anu. Anu hui kao noho i ke i anu ma ke i, uh, you know, e nai hele ke la anu uh, Mea, aka maki maki pa e ho ho maka me ki oli. Ah, oh yeah, no. He vai ua ua ka ua ua i ho mai ka vai ola ola e ka vai lono olono ka le ole o na ku puna puna vai a ka ne. Kane a ka vai kana loa a ke kai kai ola kino vai ola kino no ke mau ke ola ola ma e ma e ma e ma e ke kino kino iho no iho ka pono ole ole ho i mai kau mai ke ola ola a ku ma e ho i ola e ka vai no ho ola no ka le o le o na ku puna puna vai a kan he vai ua ua ka ua ua i ho mai ka vai ola e eo ka vai ola ola vai i vi na vai i vi ola o ke ala ku kapu kapu malu ya ke ala e eo la aloha mai kapu 
Aloha. Aloha, mahalo nui. So, kumu kiala, let's start off with your, you know, your name, where you're from, where you live now, uh, what year you had Puka Maia Kula, as well as maybe um, just briefly share what you're doing nowadays. Okay. Aloha, mai kako, wau no o kumu kiala. Uh, no i au manana kuli o ahu ala a ua neevau i Hawaii a uh, kamoku o Hawaii a uh, noho vau i ani ma ki ala kehe ki o manawa ma ka aina ho pula pula a uh, ua ua puka kula vau ma ka ma kahiki umi kumai wa kanavalu kumaha a uh, e ano vau a uh, he kumu kumu na mea like ole. Um, ke iau manawa. Aloha mai o wau no o um, I am Kumu Ki Ara Ching, um, born and raised in Nana Kuli Oahu. About 20, 20 years ago, I moved to Hawaii Island. I am now residing on the Aina Ho'opula Pula um, Hawaiian homestead in Ke Ala Kehe. Um, I am particularly an educator, more, more on the side of working with Small children um, started out in uh, Punana Leo, Punana Leo Owai Anai, and then went into the Kulakayo Puni, and then went into uh, the Ho'omana or the charter schools. And now I'm um, inspiring students in the Konoena Middle School, and it's very, very interesting. So, a well known. Oh wow! I didn't know you lived by Kiala Kehe. Koko ke Kiala i kau o hana i Kiala o Huala lai, yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, my kai, my kai, mahalo. And you know, we got your, we had um Tim, Mr. Las Banos, pull your picture from the yearbook. So I was like, oh my la, ke iya hammer no ha i. Mahalo nui for joining us. Mahalo. The next one we have, uh, we have po my kai, and you know, I gotta correct myself. It was kani alpun. Yeah, you know it's. I gave him a uh, a promotion, yeah. I called him Kana Iyo Puni. If we call him my Aloha Ekewa. Hey, Aloha my Aloha uh, Ekewa. So maybe we can start off with you too. Same thing, you know. Where are you from? Uh, where you live now? What year you in grad from SLS? And um, what sort of briefly describing what sort of things you do now? Because later on we're gonna ask you some of the nitty gritties about what you're doing nowadays. Ah, he can no. Ah. Uh, Oh, oh no, for me, I can help you. Crozier, Kiki Kane, uh, Michael Lewis Crozier, um, Lawa Kumakohine, or Lunet Aliko Williams, uh, Mokpuna, uh, Willie Crozier, um, and the Kamopuna Kuakai or any Hall on the own. Uh, Oeka Moku Hau Piliki Kula Nui, Wahana, Wahane Iwo, um, uh, Makakilo Oahu, uh, Wapuka Kulo, my Kana Lui. Uh, Ika makahiki umiki mai wa kanai wa uh, ke ia mana wa noho wau ma wai ehu ma maui ni aloha mai kako kapo eho alohe mai kai pai a kai pai mai kapi ano kala i kai kina i Hawaii moko kiawia ni hawa kahele lani o wau no o po mai kai kanipu crozier um, those are my classmates know me as Dano like Bookum Dano yeah. um, and I was born and raised on Oahu and graduated class of 90, um, but was a fourth generation of St. Louis Gores from my father, my grandfather, and so forth. Um, and been living in Waiehu on Maui um, since 2004. Aloha mai kako, glad to be here. Mahalo. And then, of course, we have Kapa Ihi Aloha Eke Hoa. You know, Kanina o Ke Kahi, I call uh, Hiki Ke Ho'o Launa Mai, Nohea Mai Ai, Nohea Mai Oi, Nohea Mai Mai Hea, uh, Ika Maka Hiki Hea I Puka Ai, Mai Ko Mako Kula, uh, Pela No. Hui, Aloha Mai Kako. Uh, wau no Kapa Ihi Lao Kalani, Ume Bayashi. Uh, wahana o uh, Hana Ia Ma Kailua. Kalua Oahu, ke manawa noho au, ma wai manalo, uh, e mahi kalo au, ma kia aina nei o hoi, ma ka kia hukua o ke ia, au ko lau poko, ma moku o Oahu, uh, uka kula au, ma kamakaiki, hmm. ilua kaukani, 
Ivalu, uh, Loha, Ihi, Umebayashi, uh, grew up, born and raised, Kailua, live on Manalo now, uh, farm out over here in Hoi, Heia, in Kolopoko, Oahu, uh, and yeah, farm Kalo out here, been farming for the past, the Elima Makaiki, so stoked, stoked to be a part of this. Mahalo, mahalo nui. So the theme for this uh, episode is Kionimana as well as coupling Kionimana with uh, Kuleana, yeah? And so when we look at Kionimana, we just want to give a, a brief like description of what is Kionimana. When we talk about Kionimana, you know, it's gentlemen, something very chivalrous, a person who's chivalrous, courteous, you know, an honorable man. You know, he's also he koa, he bibaole, he alakai, he aloha aina, he kuleana no. And, you know, of course, we, we got to start off uh, last week listening to Sissy Lake as well as Kekoa talk about uh, John Matthew Keola Makaaina na Kalahui o Kalani no Kamehameha Ekolu Lake, uh, who, of course, was a part of uh, St. Louis's Gallery of Distinguished Achievers in 2005, a longtime teacher at St. Louis School. Um, I, I believe, uh, Paul, he was your teacher too, yeah? And Kumuke Ala. My yeah, God. and a great one too, you know. Yeah, and so today we're gonna take take a next step. Yeah, now we're gonna talk about the pula pula, some of the um, kioni mana that came from Kumu Lake and from this school, and uh, talk a little bit about what they're doing nowadays. So we're gonna transition over, and then I'm gonna try change this view and let's see if go to gallery view. And so the first question I'm going to throw out to everybody is, um, you know, what, what, is, what is it that you're doing nowadays that gives your kuleana? Um, you know, I asked a question once of um, Dr. Noelani Arista. Yeah, I asked her, what advice would you give a young Hawaiian trying to do right by his lahui? And the answer she gave me was to do the deep work that's necessary. Yeah, that's necessary um, to, to do right by your lahui. And she talked a bit about kuleana, right? And that kuleana, so many people often claim kuleana, but kuleana is something that's given to you by nature of your hana. So let's talk a little bit about what you guys are doing nowadays. Not just your oyahana, but also like your hana pono, the things that give you your kuleana nowadays. And I'm going to just let you guys jump in when you're ready. And I'm not going to call in anybody specifically. So ayaya oko. You know, as OPOP, we always gonna look to Tutu over there. I <laughs> Tutu Kea. Ah. You know, oh, Kila, I know. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, no. Holy smokes. Kiko Anna, oh, Kiko Anna. I Kiko Anna, no. Oh, yeah. No, Laila, Mahalo Nui. Um, for me, uh, I think I sent you a document regarding um, Kuleana and yeah. the document really has um, sort of taken place during my lesson of um, working with my teacher certification at Manoa. And during the teacher certification in Manoa, it sort of had, had our whole cohort looking at um, operating in two worlds. And to me, it was a little difficult to understand what is this operation of two worlds? Having one foot in the Western world and one foot in the Hawaiian world and moving together. And to me, I was like, no, this, this doesn't make sense. But if I was able to train our people or help our people to understand who they are in the world that we work on, work in, you know, we become stronger and understanding how to, how to hold both of these ike, um, in, in both hands and be able to really navigate our way through life. So I was working at um, Kanuoka Aina and at Kanuoka Aina, we had, uh, of course, um, project base. Mm -hmm. So the biggest project was to the combination of a hula drama. 
So the hula drama was everything that was taught in every single aspect, and then they would be able to, to in a hula. Oh, hula drama that I sort of helped to direct and produce. It was called Hawaii Ponoi. So what did Hawaii Ponoi mean? But at the same time, there are a lot of kupuna teachers yelling at the kids to take care of their kuleana, and their kuleana was their slippers. Put their slippers to the side, that's their kuleana. Grab their bag, that's your kuleana. And I was like, no, that's not their kuleana. That's a lesson. That's a lesson to take care of your slippers and put it to the side. You hold onto your bag, you put it to the side. You take care of that, that's a lesson. Your kuleana is much, much deeper. So I, I came up, I composed that, that letter that I integrated into my, my uh, bachelor's program in education and came up with that concept of balancing ourselves. And if you have that kuleana, the word kuleana, you have the K, the U and the L, and then the E, and then the A and A. And that E mm -hmm. was based upon ea. Wamau ke ea o ka'aine kupono that we, the center of this word, we are so independent. If we understand the spirit on both sides, which, and then you understand people, our people on both sides, and then most of all, we understand how we are connected and related to the land. If we can balance the spirit, the people and the land on both sides, both sides, kuleana, there's both sides, three, three letters on one side, three letters on the other side. If we can balance the sense of spirituality, the sense of people, the sense of the land, that is truly the guide of what kuleana is all about. And it's much deeper than a responsibility. A re responsibility is a simple Western terminology that people can gravitate really quickly. But Kamehavai, e ike ana, kawai vai o na kupuna, kawai vai ho i o keakua, kawai vai o kaaina. A ina aya no ho i oi ma keia, kuina kolu, e holomu a mekeano o ke kuliana kupono, ma kaaina, oye no kauhana. Ahalo. You know, when you're talking to me about this, what I can't help but think, you know, when we talk about kuleana, right, a lot of people, so easily they write it off just as responsibility, yeah? You know, it's on posters, it's on your GLOs for classrooms, it's on, it's on uh, websites, you know, do your kuleana, do your part, stuff like that. But, you know, when we look back at, like, the great mahele, right, and how after the great Mahele didn't necessarily work so well to keep Hawaii land in Hawaiian hands, but it's another episode for another time, you know, they went over and they started talking about, that's why they used the Kuleana Act, right? To kind of vehe vehe kamana'o, right? To the Hawaiians, that it's much more than just claiming, claiming stake to a land. You know, it's your right to be there, your right to malama, that right, you know, and, and, and so anyway, that's what came to my mind when you were talking about that. Uh, so what about you, Pomekai? What, what kind of stuff are you doing now that, that lends itself to instilling a sense of kuleana for you? Uh, yeah, uh, Malila wa malamai, um, you know, now taking care of Pukui Watershed Preserve, formerly known as Nahonoa Opi'ilani. Um, but I, I want to go back, you know, just where it was for me. Because when we talk about Kuleana, and I'm glad our, my Kaikoana could go first, yeah, because that order for us really makes a difference. Um, when you're a freshman, you look up to seniors, and that's just how we are at Kanalui. Not anybody better or worse, but we, we know our place, and you know, um, you walk through the halls, giving high fives, shaking hands, saying aloha to one another, helping each other out, and, and that's kind of ingrained in you, and now taking care of um, this wawakua, 
uh, at Pukukui, which is the summit um, on Mauna Kahalawai, AKA West Maui Mountains, you know, covering thousands of acres. Um, you can see a picture in the background too, going to the summit. You, you gotta really know why you do things, yeah? Because nobody see you, nobody congratulate you, nobody going give you the, all the high fives and whatnot. You really got to know in your know that you're doing something because we koho ia. Yeah? And koho is to yeah. choose and koho ia is to be chosen. Yeah? And so when we talk about kuleana, like you're sharing, um, sometimes you don't even want the kuleana, but you were chosen and given the kuleana and you buck up and you get it done. And um, for me, um, that has been always my life, you know, at Kapapaloi of Kanewai and graduating and going back to Kanalui, um, being a haumana of late, great Kumu Lake, you know, and Papalake. And, um, when he retired, he called me to come back to Kanalui. I wanted to be a park ranger. I had just graduated from UH Manoa and in 94. So four years later, and then I get this call to come back to Kanalui, you know, and um, I wanted to play outside, you know, round hat, Jeep, a reserve, national park, and go fish, go hunt, and do all the good kind, kind of kind stuff. Um, but look, I pule, and I went back to St. Louis to teach for several years, not just because, oh, yeah, I want to go back to my, my alma mater. Of course, everybody wants to give back to their alma mater, um, especially when you come from a family that has generations gone to schools in St. Louis College. But it's a kuleana that you were called, you were koho ia, that all the blessings that you've been given is your turn to give it back to somebody, you know, and it goes deeper beyond just choice. So even um, at Kapapaloi of Kaniwai and taking care of Lo'i and Kalo and here now at Pukukui on Maui, you know, you know that Kiakue has chosen you and gifted you with all of these blessings. You know, if not for a wonderful, awesome mentor that I had at uh, Kalai Pohaku, Ramon, Mr. Abregano. If not for Mr. Abregano, I probably wouldn't have graduated several times, you know. And um, he saved my elemu many a times, you know, and you're grateful for what Kiko has done and the, what he shared with you and the people he's put you in contact with. And, and so up in the Wawakua, you realize that you want everybody else to drink water and swim in streams and O'opu to run generations after you, as well as keep our Kionimana and our Kanalui thriving because we were blessed to get a good education, you know. Um, many times I could have been kicked out, um, just being kolohe and whatnot. I planted most of the grass on campus. You know, I had detention every Saturday for a whole year. You know, just those kinds of things. But they really instilled with you, what is your kuleana to help your kaikaina? Yeah, that kuana before us and people who have helped, you know, that your turn to give back. So um, that sense of kuleana kind of goes with koho and to me, koho ia, you know, being chosen in what kekua has sent your way, has blessed you with, and selected you to pass on to the, the next generation. So just happy and mahalo you, Kaipo, for putting this together, you know. It's, it's really awesome to see next generation and kapai, like, yeah, all right, my eye. What you want to know? Yeah, the whole team. It was the whole team. I just, I just have the honor of being able to sit in front of the screen with you guys. But you know, we, we have Mr. Los Banos and we have Uluvehi on the other side and Kaneo Kana Ganzo them all helping to put us together. But I, I really mahalo all of you guys for the, you know, in this, in that sense of you came right, be you were before me. We, you continued the Hawaiian department. So the fact that there's still a Hawaiian department here, I'm just very happy, happy to be, to be a part of it. And, you know, I see, Bombay, when you get a chance, go look in the chat because it says St. Louis School, but that's Ramon who made a comment to you where he remembers you having your, ch 
your class outside on the grass of Bertram Hall, chanting at the top of their lungs, Iku Mau Mau, and he has to come out and tell you, shh, 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 they're going to get mad, they're going to get mad, go over there, go over there. Yeah. Yeah, so And now we invite the whole school out. Nobody get mad. Exactly, exactly. And we still do that today, you know. When they when the classroom is being too confined, we go out to the steps. Okay, here we go, chant, get good acoustics out here. <laughs> so mahalo. And kapaihi, aloha. Te hea oi. Okay, aloha. Yeah, makai. So hea hako hana iki a maula. Uh, okay, I'm all la. Uh, I think maybe the past, I like say, maybe six months, we've been trying to open, open more lotty to to feed more people. So I talked to you guys earlier. We opened up about ten more acres up over here in um, Heia. We had about maybe three to four acres already open, but we went a little bit up Moka, opened a little bit more, opened up more Aina. We opened up maybe last April, we opened, we found the old Awai that never had Vai for about 80 years. You know, we got oh. the, we Kukulu Manawai, we brought the Vai back in that Awai, and maybe three months after that, we in whole lot of Vai to the Lotis that never have Vai or anything in there for the past, 60 years maybe, and we just went do our first harvest from them maybe last month, two months ago. And I mean, you could tell the Lepo was ready for just give back to us, you know. We, we've been putting in Plani Aloha, Plani Mana to this place. And in return, it, it's been, you know, blessing us with, with nice kalo. But I mean, going on the Kuleana thing, good thing I, you know, the Opio. I could listen to the uncles before me, you know, I just tie them all together, you know, you live, to me, Kuleana is, you know, you never live for yourself, yeah? You either do stuff for the kupuna or you do stuff for the hanana that gun hikimai, you know, you're never doing them for, for now. It's never for now. Yeah, I cut grass today, but it's so tomorrow the thing look cherry for somebody come, you know, if they like take picture or sit down on the mau. No more weeds, not itchy. Or you cut grass for make them look cherry how the kupunas had them back then. You know, you always do it for somebody else. You know, and I like what uh, Uncle Keala said, the balance, the A in the middle and the, the two sides, you know. I, I have to, you know, find Kuleana and find balance last year, living in the Western world. And, you know, I went Kayapuni, grew up Kayapuni, you know, so this kind of stuff was, this is the roots, you know. You go Kaipuni, especially Kaipuni back in the 90s. I mean, those guys were like real kue kumus. You know, it was either you all in or you in the way. Those guys back then, you know. So, I mean, I, I was faced with one koho, you know, you know, stay on, you know, it was a, it was a good job. It was, it was only for the Colorado, but it was, you know, importing most of everything that come to the Aina. You know, I was on part-time longshoreman and full-time farmer, but inside my na'o, you know, I, for a long time, it was just eating it, eating it. And I was malama in Kuleana, paying the bills with the kala and getting mail from the aina. But my na'o was not pono, you know, that thing was eating at me, eating at me. I cannot be mahi ai and say I sustainable and, you know, want to pahuli the system, but yet, I bringing in 90% of everything that stay on the Aina. And then the one thing that changed me is I brought in the rail. I had to bring in the rail carts. And I seen that, I was like, oh, I cannot, I cannot be here for the TNT. I cannot be here for anything else that come over here. So I made the koho, you know, and that was a year ago. And the kuleana that the kupuna gave me and like on a color po said, the koho, you know, the koho I made that I can live with and that my kupunas went I think they threw them on me to Owamo was to be here, you know, and get this place ready for the Hananas that can come so they can haunt you and they can live like the Kupunas that came before us. And, you know, don't take Kuleana too lightly, but I mean, once you see it, I think it's more Allahi to follow that Allah because they set them up for you, you know, 
They're just waiting for you, Makoko, to holo on that, Allah. But that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> Farming and living off the land as best as I can. <laughs> Mahalo. I like that Manao, that Kuleana is not, you know, it's not for now, it's for, for later. And I think, you know, going back to Kumu Keala, uh, you know, that that distinguishing um, difference, yeah, between a Ha'avina and a Kuleana really is that, that, that foresight of that it's not for now, it's for later, right? Your Ha'avina to pick up your shoes right now, that, that's because that's a Ha'avina, that's right now. You have your shoes right now, move them over, right? The Kuleana <laughs> is, the Kuleana is making sure that you moved your shoes because, Kumu Kiala is going to trip over it if you keep it like this, right? So that's right. your Kuleana is to Malama, right? So mahalo. Thank you. I like that. And you know, I also like the progression, right? We went from Tutu to Kaikua Ana to Anakala, you know. <laughs> so mahalo, mahalo in Akioni Mana. So we, you know, the show is called Ho'i Kapiko. We got to hear a little bit about your guys, Kuleana, and some of your Oihana and your Hanapono and how that lends itself to the kuleana that you have uh, a wamo ia, yeah? For you, right, we know as po'e Hawaii, ke kahua mamua, o ke mahope ke kukulu. And amid these ever-changing times, if we are steadfast in some sort of pico that we can always go back to, everything after is going to be mai ka ikoa i hemolali i kamali, yeah? So, Kumukiala, let's let's go back to you because I'm seeing there's a pattern, right? So let's we'll just you know ho yeah. And so Kumukiala, for you, amid your kuleana, what is that pico for you that you can always go back to to reroot yourself, ground yourself, and holomua bambai? Kupuna. Beyond kupuna is kyakua. Uh, because for me, having that sense of kyakua and being 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 an educator around the world. You know, I think one of the biggest, I was Tutu Malia Craver, and she, she pulled me to the side and she said, you know, Ke'ala, people would not believe in God. And I was like, what? How can that be? And she said, they will not believe in God and you will come across a lot of people that does not believe in God. And she said, you just tell them there's a higher spirit, a higher power. And however you find your way, we'll see you on that end. And so just those words from this kupuna, it has really guided me to really know that akua is that one foundation. Just like what the word says, akua. Akua is the first foundation, the, the first backbone and with Akua and knowing that Kupuna is right next, but being able to just call upon them in chant, call upon them by name, recognizing them and honoring them, that has really guided me to today. So I really, really appreciate that. You know, and to me, it's like, like what we're all talking, it's Kuleana, it's Kuleana to understand all our different kupuna. You know, we have our kupuna kue, we have our kupuna pupule, we have our, you know, kupuna holopono, we have our kupuna noho vale, and then we have kupuna noho nani. And then, you know, and then it's like, okay, at least we have now a variety, variety of understanding our kupuna. And then beyond them, there is this one akua. And to just really connect that way to know that we can receive inspiration, even if we're talking to the trees, even if we're talking to the lo'i, they're telling us where, where the water is, they're telling us where, where everything is, is guided. Uh, all we have to do is really be within ourselves, be centered, and be able to listen. Ho'olono, ho'olono is to hear deeply. Ho'olohe, can go right like this, and then go ha'alele. But when we ho'olono, it really brings that sense of deepness to really pay attention. And I think to me, that's, that I know has guided me to where I'm at right now. So ho'ika piko, kupuna and akua, and akua the first. So mahalo. Mahalo. 
my Kai, what about you? What is that? What is for you? What is that pico that amid the ever changing times, amid your kuleana, something that is your kahua, something you can always revert back to? Uh, you know, no uiho. Um, you know, I put up this picture of the hale because you say, okay, kahua ma mua mahoto ki kukulu, you know. Um, as a hale builder and as a mahi ai, we always look to our foundation. Yeah, yeah, la kahana mua. Yeah, ala hiki ke hana ke kahi mea. Ina ole ke kua malila. Na na no ha ame ya kako ka ike ka na wow, ma popo. Ewa ai me oya ya kako ao mai na kupuna. Ika olelo ka havina mahi ke kukula na mea pau. Ko kako kuana ike, aya no, ma o ka nana ana ka maka ka holohe ana ka pepeao, ka hana ana ka neka lima, aka, wa olu olu mai ke kui a kako, a malela, no uiho, a ho mai ka iho ke kua, o oia oia ka mea nui, a no ka mea, hiki ke hana na mea pau, ina kako o mai ke kui a oia, ina na o po. Ah, puli aku lo oi, ah, nana no ho mai ka ike, ah, mohala mai ka haavina, maalahi ka hana, you know. And I agree with uh, my kakoana, you know, the kiakua is, when we look at, you, you gotta look to the source. And the source for everything about what we do as aloha aina, um, you know, I've had the honor and, and the privilege to be around so many kupuna in my own ohana and outside of my ohana that have blessed us with so much ike. But it's because kiakua plant the Holy Spirit in their heart to want to be open to share with us and um, give us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to understand. You know, I didn't really think I would, and I know I wasn't the brightest candle on the block and kiakua really gave me Kumu who was disciplined, who will pound it into your head, and you will do it over and over, whether it be a kaholo, whether it be kanui kahuli kalo, or whatever, kukulu kahali, that I hold my kaiwo kiakua, that I thank kiakua for those attitude readjustments, as Father Rasi used to say, you know, um, that kupuna would hold me by the forearm, and say, okay, ah, ole, pono kako hana me kei, ah, la, 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 you know, and, and so kiaku always has to be and is the center for me um, because we come from a place of aloha. And when we look at who we are as kanaka and kionimana, it comes from us not being in, being perfect and kahaku yesu crystal being sent, yeah, and in the Marinus school, right, Mary, in birth to our Savior Jesus Christ. And that is the aloha of Kekua to us. And for us as Kanaka, we mahalo Kekua for that. And we take the time. And that's what propels us to mahi. That's what propels us to kukulu kahale, to ho'omalu somebody so they're not sitting in the sun, being all papa, or in the rain, in the cold. You know, because it's a hananui. It's big work and it's big job to be a kubuhula and to teach takes a lot of patience. And so God bless Kumu Keala because I ain't got it. Some of those Haumana would just get cracks, you know. <laughs> um, and I think of, you know, Kumu Lake. Man, he he would just stay with me and po my guy, po my guy, you know. And um, But that aloha that he had for us as Haumana and, and the many other Kumu too, they could have looked the other way, just like Kekua could have looked the other way on us guys. So to me, it's always about Kekua, and that's what drives us as Aloha Aina, to Aloha that which feeds us through the source and through the resources that we have. Eh? Um, it's a great thing to hear for me. And Kapa'i talks about making that choice, you know, as a choice to be aloha aina and a mahi ai, mai kai. You know, in this day and age, when COVID is happening, yeah, 
you the richest guy there with 15 acres in the air. Carlo is a hammer, you know, and thanks to Kamuela and and um, Kahiao and, yeah. you know, the rest of Koa and the rest of the Ohana down there who did something to open up those opportunities. You hold my Kahiakua. So, good choice and how hell will you own it, you know? Alo nui. Pakana ao, bro. Oh, you can buy buy your kumako kula ya. Like if you liana um kumu lake, nana i ho i kumako kula i kapiko. You know, make a mo meheu, make a mo olelo, make a olelo makuahine. Mamuli o kumu lake hiki a makoke holumua o aku iki a hanau na make a hanau na ae. No la la mahalo nui. Um, ya kumu lake mahalo nui ya oko. Ah, e kapa ihi. Yah kau kahua. What about you? What is that pico for you to hoi? I mean, I have a lot of people who are in the Kupuna, you know. I mean, I have a lot of people who are in the Kupuna. I have a lot of people who are in the Kupuna. I have a lot of people who are in the Kupuna. I have a lot of people who are in the Kupuna. I have a lot of people who are in the Kupuna. When I made the transition from Kayapuni to St. Louis, oh, that was a nuts on, you know. I went to Puohala. You know, we never really um, do Father, Son, Holy Spirit, um, you know, all that stuff. And see, when I first went to St. Louis, I had science class with Mr. Lulu. And, <laughs> bro, I never know any of these words. I was like, oh, I just learned how to read in Papa Elima. And I went to St. Louis, Papa Eono. <laughs> I was trip. I was in a whole new world, fish out of water, for real kind. But, you know, like, the Anakala said, you get kumus, you get kupunas. The kupunas that went, you know, really helped me get through that, they in hala already. But, you know, I guess they seen, they already seen what I could do, or my potential. So I'd always trust them, you know, as in Kiki did. Oh, no, boy, you know how read, just do them, uh, you know, ah, getting all frustrated, you know, never know. Like, it was, everything was brand new. But like learning on whole another language, like real kind from Hawaiian to straight learning Western religion, science, all that kind of stuff, algebra. I mean, we learned all that in Kayapuni, but never have that kind of titles, you know. Everything was off the Aina, you know. And no the word I already remember is photosynthesis. <laughs> And then when I learned, I was like, oh, that's like from the law. You know, that's how the Melkan was Ulu. Oh, we learned this, but I never know it's called photosynthesis. What the, what is this? But, I mean, without my kupunas, you know, they, I still pray to them, you know. And like the Anakala said, they're right next to Kiakua. So they, they're pretty much my middle man up there. They can translate all my pulleys to Kiakua, you know, if, if anything is lost in translation to the guys up there. And then, I mean... The kahua right now for me that kind of really went switches my kikis and my ohana. You know, like I said earlier, everything I do is for them, and for them, the two sides. You know, but kupunas and my ohana, not, not my makua kani makua hine. It's for them too, but the kahua right now is my kikis and my ohine. You know, and all my kupunas. You know, but kikis and kupuna is pico. You know, kahua, that's, that's everything for me. And I try to pass that down to my keikis. So I think that's it. Kupunas and keiki. And, uh, and, you know, for those of, so a lot of people who have no connection to St. Louis, right? They, they always hear the word brotherhood being thrown out, yeah? You know, brotherhood this, brotherhood that. But unless you go St. Louis or unless you teach St. Louis, you don't really know what brotherhood, what that brotherhood is, you know, and I spent a long time, you know, and I'm still working on it. I've been trying to figure out like a good word for brotherhood. You know, I've been talking to, you know, Punihe, I've been talking to Noelani Iokepa Guerrera. We've been just talking stories like, what would this word be? But it, it you know, it's a different mana'o, yeah? You know, yeah. so like the most you could say is like this pilina kaikuaana, pilina kaikaina, action. And for you guys, just present right here, you can see that brotherhood, you know, the fact that you guys look to the, you know, to the eldest one here and you have that respect and then you, 
you're continuing down. So us right here, our kupuna for the next generation already, you know, regardless of where we are in our life, the fact that we have a hanau na ae, right, makes us kupuna to them. And for you guys, being kionimana of, of St. Louis, you guys are kupuna for the current students, right? And I, you know, I don't know if you can see in my background. So I go, I go move this way first. Here you guys have Uluvehi made a beautiful background and this is you guys, yeah. And then on this side, these are some of your kaikua ana, right? At the very top, we have Kunyakea. A lot of people don't realize that Kunyakea is a graduate of Ahui Manu College, right? So a lot of hula halau, punana kamanui hailila ea, no realize that that is a St. Louis legacy right there because he's a graduate of, 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 St. of Ahui Manu College. You know, we also have uh, St. Damien. There's only 11 saints, you know, who were ordained saints who come from the United States. And of the United States, two of those saints come from the Pai Aina of Hawaii before he was a part of the United States, you know what I mean? But, you know, Father, Father Damien, St. Damien is a part of the legacy as well. And then we have, um, who's in that in the middle? That, oh, we have George Helm. A lot of people don't realize George Helm is a graduate of St. Louis School. And we also have Poi Poi. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so Poi Poi is this last one right over here. And, and many people don't realize that his pen name was Ho'uluma So all of the people who are reading Hi'iakai Kapoli Opele with all of these excerpts from Ho'uluma Mahie Hie taken from the New Pepper, that's an Ahui Manu grad himself. And so you all share the same kuleana as them for your kaikaina. And so this next question, you know, there's kind of a long setup for this next part, but, you know, currently at St. Louis, we have 62% Native Hawaiian students. We've always had majority percentage serving Native Hawaiian, but currently right now, 62% Native Hawaiian, 80% Polynesian, 62 Native Hawaiian. What advice would you give your kaikaina? What advice would you give a Native Hawaiian gentleman, part of that 62% who's your kaikaina today? Yau, pule kia kua a ha ha a o ka mea nui a ho nui no 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 ke ala kupono e a ho nui ana e ike ana na pili kia ka apuni o kako a e pi i ana ka huhu a ka pono e peki hope a a ho nui e ike ana ka vai vai ma o ako o ka pule e pule mau e ho ike ana ike ala kupono O ka pilikia e iki ana ka au au e lua. O ka ia au au, o ia noho i, ka au au pelekania, ka au au hewa, a ia no ka au au aloha, o ia no ka aloha aina. A ia u, ko u noho ana me kumulei, a ike wau i kona ala kupono. I kona wala au ana, he olu olu i leila, he ahonui he nui ma leila, haa haa nui oia, a ike hoi ike ola a kiakua, ma kona alo ike hoi. Yau i noho a ma Hawaii ua heli mai oia, a nana no i alakai ma pukohola, noi hoi oia, i kahui i leila, ma he o ke ala, Kela ano manawa lele bau i Europa, so a ole hiki ya uke hui ma kela aha ma pukola. A kano na e ho kahi maka hiki ua hui au neia, a ua aloha nui bau i ko uku ana me kumulei. No lele, ia ue i ke aku, no na hanau na i hiki mai ana, pule mau i ke akua, e i ke ana i ke ala kupona. Ko o manawa nui, aha, 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 o ia no kahana. Halo. So, i kelawa ua, ua noho i Europa, ai ole ua, ua kipa vale? Kipa vale, hele i no kela pule. Oh, e, 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 ok, ok. Ki ia uke hui me ia, a ka, ke kai i maka hiki, a ole hiki ia uke lele, ua hui au me kumulei. Oh. Ila noi i ke ana i ke alo ke akua, i ka hana kupono, 
you know, i ka hou manawa nui, kona leo, haa haa, e mea kupono. Oi ano, oi ano. What about you, Pop Mai Kai? What is some is the advice you would give your Kai Kaina, the 62% Native Hawaiians? And you know what? The, actually, you know what? And even the other ones, you know, the whole, all your Kai Kaina, what's, what's an advice you would give them? Uh, just give them. That's what I would tell them. Just give them. Give them yeah. one crack. Uh, matter of fact, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll like, give you some fabulous Olelo no Eau, but, um, you the know, Yes, my you got things to try. And, you know, what we learn at Kanalui is um, not let people stop you. Not let barriers get in your way. Yeah. You know, not let um, people tell you you cannot. You cannot do this. You know, I remember teaching there, you know, and uh, my friend, the late uh, Fursaw Jakuna. I called him Kaleo, mm. you know. Um, he would teach me ukulele, and I would teach him Hawaiian. Uh, I must have been a better teacher, I think so, because he learned Hawaiian, and I still not can play ukulele. So, uh, <laughs> but he had all his cadets marching in Hawaiian, you know, yeah. hema, hema, kao, hema, counting in Hawaiian. But you know, we get that too from Mr. Lake. He, he wasn't afraid of trying new things. He, we heard last week how he spoke Spanish, how he traveled as Haumana. He took us around the state. Um, we went to language competitions. We went go look vahipana. Um, he taught us hula and all kinds of different things. But he wasn't afraid to try to do things. And, you know, as a Kanaka and as Hawaiians, he never did ho'okai ili to the non-Hawaiians. You know, had... We were in Huyanao Pio. There was Manly Williams on Samoan inside there. There was other people. And it was about sharing that ike. Yeah, and learning and having good fun. And it was really le'a le'a. So, you know, my Hawaiian side would say, hahai no ka ui ka ulu la ao. You know, that the rain follows the rainforest. That to have vision, yeah, um, to be one freshman, to look at that scene and say, I'm going to be him. You know what? I'm going to be like that. And we're proud of the Mariotas and Tours. Yeah. We're proud of Kapaihi, Young Mayai, to say, you know what? Alilava kela pu'ukala na'u. Aloha aina. And we, we think of all these fabulous mo'olelo in the past. But to have vision means you can plant trees that and grow long, will take a long time for grow that will attract the rain for the next generations. And you heard Kapai or Kaikaina say, it's not about you. As, as Keonimana, it's not about us. We do this for the next guys down below. You know, the upper class will never pick on younger guys. They help us out. And the thing that I, I used to really look forward, we used to have the, the big brother. Yeah, you're assigned as, as a seventh grader um, Koa was my big brother, Koa Lake. And, you know, anybody pick on me, I call Whoa. Koa. And, you know, he just kind of smooth things out, you know. Smooth. But <laughs> what they give him is no scared to younger Keone Mana. Um, you hoi hoi something, go for it. You like, look where the old Lo'i stay, then pull those weeds, get out the research, look the maps, go for it. Because... We as Kionimana are the true, um, sometimes a part of that niche ohana that is not institutionalized and colonized, that's colonized that say you cannot. Mr. Lake at St. Louis, we're the first to have Hawaiian language yeah, taught outside of Lahaina Luna. You know, we first to have Hawaiian history and some of these things that were shifting paradigms. Because somebody, somebody dared to do it. And, and he was a great role model. Just recent, a couple of years ago, I went down to Aotearoa. And, and we were down in Rotorua. And we had done this whole um, protocol. And uh, it was fabulous. Because after, they had gotten up and they said, you know, I remember. I'm not sure if you guys know. Um, he was a good friend of mine. Kumu John Lake. I was like, that's my Kumu. I mean, you're like beyond the equator. And these people knew of him. 
Allah. Who Allah. And so, um, who give them? Just, yeah, just, just try and hold on more and follow your now. You know, you pull it. Kia kua. Because it's worked for me and it's worked for others. And I see a, a little bit different. Um, I wanted to go to Campbell High School. I tell all my brethren that I want to go to Campbell. It was from Makakilo. Then I could surf more. Yeah. But all the men on my father's side, on the Crozier side and the halls, had all gone to St. Louis. So I didn't have a choice. But ingrained into going there, you had plenty cousins and plenty ohana that you had to kako'o one another. And so make the family and kako'o one another. Oyewalibu. My ka'i, mahalo, mahalo. I see we have a lot of graduates. You know, we have James Barros is sparking in right now. He says, aloha. Uh, we have a question from Malia Nobrigo Oliveira. She asked if, you know, students are required to learn Hawaiian at St. Louis. It's not a requirement, but we do have a waiting list for Papa Olalo Hawaii. So maybe we can start uh, more classes. It's oh. not a requirement yet. Wanna be a requirement <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Next year. <laughs> yeah. But you know what we did start was um, Aina base, uh, this Aina based learning curriculum that's pervasive in every single um, discipline. And so in that Aina based learning curriculum, every student has learned at least their Ho'olauna. So steps forward, steps forward, you know, maybe they, they cannot, you know, Olalo Piha, but at least they can tell you, you know, who they are, where they're from, their parents, Pelaku, no. So Kapa'ihi, what about you? you have a, we have a few more minutes left. Um, what is some advice you would give your Kai Kai now? What is some advice? So I was lucky. I, I mean, I was on coach over there for, she, I think, like five years, JV. So I, I was giving advice to them firsthand. I had them as freshmen, you know. Some of them first time to private schools. You know, some just like me came from Kamakau, you know, Kulakayapuni, so... I mean, the one thing I always kept telling them is, you know, they, they have fun. Have fun because these times going to go by so fast, you know. Make every day count with your brothers, you know. You, you might, like, scrap this guy today, but before you know it, it's going to be a brother forever, for life. You know, you got him. <laughs> you got him. He got you. You guys going to remember these times forever, you know. Go, don't just go through the motions either. I mean, kind of... Absorb. I always told the kids up there, all my, my players, absorb, take everything in. Because I told them all the stuff I never do. <laughs> you know, went too fast for me. You know, we just, we went there for football, you know. Hawaii was was getting there, but it was more, we was just, we just wanted to play football, you know. That's all we wanted to do. All my classmates, you know, PE, real game, whatever. We just wanted to compete with each other, like brothers, you know. So I, I tell all the players that I get, like, you know, left, look left, look right. You're going to be with these guys forever. You know, when you come sophomore, take care of freshmen. You know, when you come junior, take care of sophomore and the freshmen. You know, when you come senior, Garumalama, everybody, because everybody looking at you. You know, and those are some stuff that, you know, when I went there from Papa Eono, that's just, you know, we looked up to some, some hammers too, you know, and, they said, yeah, they never did pick on you. You know, they always, they always wanted you for be, you know, better than them. But I remember when we went, it was real tough love. You know, you can go up with the sophomore, you can go up with the junior. You better be ready because they're not gonna hold back. You know, and as a young kiki, you better give them too because they're expecting you to give everything. So, you know, just have fun and, you know, thank your mom and dad because, you know, it's 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 kind of the kind, but. <laughs> You know, it's PPE, PPE. PPE law, but hey, it's worth it, you know. Like I said, you make brothers forever. Forever. And, you know, like you said, the pilina is so pa'a. You know, all over the honua, you're always going to be pa'a with your brother. And when you'd be the same class, if they went to the kula, that's your brother. You know, so I would just say, just enjoy it. Don't take it for granted. You know, and aloha kikahi kikahi and Keep on open mind because get so much people in different walks of life in that school. You know, never, you're going to meet kids that, you know, never even knew lived in Hawaii. Okay? <laughs> and grew up that way, you know. So just love each other and, you know, 
Be proud you went to that school. Mahalo. You know, I love, I love that notion also of ho'ika pico because, we, you know, we have different picos on our body, but at least when we're talking about like our navel, yeah, it's not just a source that connects us to our past, but it's also that source that's going to give to the hanau na'ae, yeah? Um, and so that next generation, on oya ke kuleana, that's where the kuleana lies. So mahalo nui for, for coming and for sharing your guys' mana'o, sharing about your guys' life and your time, you know, at St. Louis and your kuleana now and giving... You know, just our advice to the greater lehu lehu, and so I guess we'll we'll leave that with with our uh, the lehu lehu and our kaiulu who are watching us. Mahalo for joining us today, uh, and for joining these lovely kioni manwa kamahao o kanalui. Um, and we'll leave you guys with that question. You know, in thinking about what is your source, what is that kuleana that you're going to provide for the next generation? Because when we come back and you join us next week, Sunday, we're going to be talking about Aloha Aina. And not just our history of Aloha Aina, but what Aloha Aina means today. And most importantly, what Aloha Aina means for tomorrow. So mahalo ya oko, pakahia pao, mahalo inui e na hoa, e na mana for joining us. And I want to invite everybody to tune in again next week, October 25th, again from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock for our third episode of Ho'i Kapiko, where we'll be talking about Aloha Aina. No laila, mahalo nui ya oko, aloha no. Yeah. Eo, kanalui. Eo.